is the KDA Video Minute for Thursday, July 9th. Earlier this week, the Whitening Task Force that originally met uh, about a year ago uh, met in conference call to discuss July 24th hearings for the Kansas Standard Board on their proposed rules and regulations that would clarify that whitening procedures are a dental uh, procedure and can only be done under the supervision of a dentist. So those, that hearing is on July 24th at 9 a.m. here in Topeka at the Landon State Office Building. Dr. Bert Ottmeyer and Dr. Kevin Christensen will be attending and testifying on behalf of the KDA, but we would really like a lot of support from dentists around the, uh, around the entire state. So if you are available on Friday morning, July 24th, to attend that public hearing, we would really encourage you to come and add support uh, for those new rules and regulations as the dental board uh, looks at those and decides whether or not to move those, uh, advance those along. We don't know what type of opposition there might be, and uh, if there is a lot of opposition, we certainly want to make sure that the, the voice of dentists are heard loud and clear by the Kansas State Board. Well, the state budget continues to be an issue uh, here in Kansas, and it's certainly an issue with dental programs. Uh, last week, Governor Parkinson announced some more budget cuts. Those budget cuts included about a $500,000 cut to the dental program that has to do with dentistry for pregnant women. Now, the money was implemented, but that program had never really started, so there's not an existing program that's being cut. It's just the implementation of a new program is being delayed a little bit further. Also, the Donated Dental Services Program that we've talked about in the past has been funded through December 31st, but once December 31st rolls around, uh, we don't know where the funding is going to come from. There was hope at one time the state might be able to scrape a little more money together. We don't know if that will happen or not. So, uh, in essence, remember that the state budget is a July 1 to June 30th budget. So the state has provided funding for DDS for half a year, and then we'll see what happens after that. KCTV5 in Kansas City uh, is a, a news station who's been interviewing dentists this past week regarding an issue on amalgam, or story they plan to run on Monday, July 20th. Uh, they have interviewed Dr. Craig Harry, who's the KDA's treasurer, and some other Kansas City, Missouri area dentists. We don't really know what the spin is. Dr. Harry reports that the... the interview went very well and uh, uh, we are hopeful that it will have a positive spin uh, on amalgam as being a cost-effective uh, material, long proven track re record safe material to work with uh, and trying to uh, combat some of the other uh, people who think that amalgam of course is uh, non-safe and it should be uh, eliminated. So. Check uh, your listings, especially if you're in the Kansas City area. Please tune in to KCTV5 on Monday the 20th and see if you can catch that. It'll be posted on the KCTV5 website, and the KDA will uh, link to that after that's made available. So be looking for that here the next week. Well, unfortunately, the KDA leadership workshop at Flint Oak Cutting Preserve that was scheduled for June 26th and 27th last month was canceled due to lack of participation. Uh, the executive committee went ahead and met on Friday, June 26th here at the KDA office and did take an opportunity to talk about strategies and priorities for the upcoming year. Uh, some of the things that the executive committee talked about had to do with sort of the ongoing rumblings uh, that we're hearing in, in Kansas and really around the country now uh, about mid-levels uh, in, in the dental office as a result of what's happened in Minnesota with their legislation for the dental therapists or the advanced dental therapists. Uh, of course, you're probably already familiar with what's happened in the past with the, the, the DHATs or the dental health aid therapists in Alaska. That model looks like it's going to be transferred down to New Mexico in the, uh, in the Indian lands there. So uh, there's a lot of, lot of discussion about mid-levels, what that's going to look like. A lot of uh, uh, oral health groups outside of dentistry are a little bit excited, frankly, about the possibility of advancing uh, the concept of dental mid-level. So uh, a lot of discussion about that and we're uh, very much aware of that possibility and some of the discussions uh, from people individually anyway at this point here in the state of Kansas. So we talked about that a little bit. We also talked about strategies on how the KDA 
can help combat health insurance policies uh, that we believe are detrimental to the, the profession of dentistry, to dentistry, and really to patients themselves as they seek uh, dental treatment. So we talked a little bit about how we might proceed with that. We talked about Medicaid and an alternative model for Medicaid, uh, what that might look like, uh, talking about the possibility of a pilot-type program to be uh, implemented in February. Then the, ex the executive committee talked about the economy, and not only uh, the economy and how that might be affecting dentistry, uh, income of dentistry, and, and patient flow for dentistry, but also then how that trickles down to the KDA and where we are with the KDA with regard to our income, uh, the number of members we have. Frankly, we've lost the membership. We have a little bit of reduction in membership this year. Uh, we have a reduction in um, uh, participation in our annual meeting. Our royalty income is down uh, because fewer of our members are utilizing those services. We're, we're looking at ways that we can uh, balance our budget, uh, perhaps increase our revenue as well as reduce our expenses. And then lastly, we had a, a very good discussion on the, very, the general topic of membership participation. Uh, again, there is a high level of frustration with the need to cancel the KDA Leadership Workshop. As we go around the state to district meetings, we find that attendance of those district meetings is dwindling. We're having more a difficulty in having a quorum for a board of delegates meeting. So uh, there was a general discussion on some different different ways we might structure and reschedule, and just uh, to try to encourage more participation with our membership, as well as to create or infuse a level of of passion and excitement for the KDA and the activities that are going on. So all these issues that I've talked about, you'll be hearing more about those in the weeks and months to come. But uh, I mean, that's just a broad generalization of the things we talked about. But we did get into more strategies, and uh, you'll be hearing more about that from the KDA office and President Brent Roos as we uh, move forward throughout the course of this uh, of this year. Thank you for watching another installment of the KDA Video Minute. Uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your summer, and we'll be back with you with another video minute uh, in the future as the need necessitates itself. If you've already noticed, this hasn't been weekly over the summer, but as things come up that we need to talk about, uh, we'll be sure to let you know and, and update you. Also through the KDA e-news and other venues, so enjoy your summer, and uh, we'll be with you again. Please call the KDA office at any time if you need to talk to anyone. Thanks.